I've just bought a lot of fitness equipment. Pretty much everything you need for calisthenics or working out at home. Not necessarily proud of it, it was kind of an impulse buy. But now that I'm loaded up with everything, let's see what calisthenics equipment we really need and what we could go without. Item number one. These are larger parallettes and the functionality on this bad boy is, it's wild. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. The possibilities are endless. Here's what they look like all put together and I decided to try them out. Right out of the gate, they passed my stability test. They're looking stable. And like I said, you can do a variety of different things like the L-sit. You can train the planche variations but what they're best for is probably dips, and it's an important exercise, so it's nice to have at home. However, it's not necessary, and you can find ways around it by using smaller parallettes on a chair or something like that. You can also train things like the front lever and L-sit pull-ups, although you could just use a pull-up bar instead. And dips is pretty much the only thing this thing's good for because you can do everything else on smaller parallettes, including the handstand. If you try to do the handstand on this, you can technically do it, but I feel like that's just terrifying. So basically this is an irrelevant purchase and you should just stick with small parallettes. And if you do want to add this to your home gym, just make sure you get bigger ones that are more stable. These ones were kind of, these kind of sucked. Final score, I give it a meh out of 10. Next up is a smaller parallette. And personally, I think like a medium sized parallettes is all you need. And I think everyone should have that in their house because you're able to do so many exercises and it's like a staple for calisthenics. So you're going to need those, but let's crack it open. Okay, got some wooden poles. There's some metal sticks down there. And I don't, I have no clue what these are. Unfortunately, I found out that I don't own a screwdriver, but I just tried to make do with my safety scissors. I was disappointed by the results. Maybe we do need the screwdriver. So apparently these were the screwdrivers. The fact that they expect me to know this is just crazy, but. Magnificent. That being said, there's a ton of things we can do with these parallettes, L-sit being one of those. You can also train push-up variations or train towards the planche. It's also great for the handstand, which might be a little bit more difficult to kick yourself up because of the elevation of the parallettes, but it gets less and less scary over time. It's not like the super high ones. And by doing these movements on bars instead of with our hands, it's gonna take a little bit of load off our wrists and allow us to practice more, which is cool and we can start to learn more and more things. Eventually moving on to more complicated exercises. Right now I'm trying to learn the L-sit to handstand and I've been using the parallettes to help me do that. And having the medium size is just perfect. And if you wanna use even smaller parallettes, you can do that as well. But the medium size is just perfect. It allows you to do more exercises. And over time you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna to wanna to do more things that you need the medium size parallettes to do. Anyways, I think the medium size parallettes is a must have for a home gym, giving it five stars. On to the next. The next piece of equipment up for review is a pull-up bar. And I got a few here to see which one's best. I'm gonna start with my personal favorite, which is just the one that you put in your door frame. Pretty simple, just to hook in the, the old. It's pretty great, and it can give you just like a way to do pulling exercises. You can even train the front lever with this. It just gives you a great spot to do pull-ups, and as we know, Pulps is the best exercise and it gives you that badonk donk back. This is a necessity for everybody. If I had to give it a rating, I'd say, I'd say it's off the charts. But for some people that's not available. So I got one of those other pull-up bars because I was just kind of curious if they worked. So I'm excited to test it out. And I was looking at the pictures online and I was hoping that it's gonna help me get a milky looking back like this too. They also say it can be used for other exercises, although I do not trust it enough to do push-ups. That guy has a death wish. Instructions, don't need those. Okay, I mean, it looks sick. It's like a lightsaber, but we're gonna, see if it actually does pull-ups. Apparently you just screw, unscrew this end and then you just tighten it in the door frame and then you're able to do pull-ups like that. And I'm not a marine biologist, but that just doesn't seem safe to me, but we're gonna give it a go. This thing's just stupid. Gym rings. These are next. It even came with chalk. That's eight. These are rings from gymnastics, but they're like great because you can just throw them up into a tree or you can do them pretty much anywhere. And they're the definition of versatile. Not only can you do pull-ups and stuff, but you can also do muscle-ups and you can do dips. You can do basically anything with these. They're just all around great. I've been tinkering with them a little bit at my gym because they got rings there, but I've been loving them. So I was really excited to buy these. Let's go try it out. This probably wasn't the best spot to throw them up, but you can just find a spot like anywhere. Rings are actually insane. They make every exercise like five times more difficult. 
and they just add a whole new level of intensity to your workouts. And with just a set of rings, you basically have a gym in your bag. You can do muscle ups, push ups, pull ups, dips, rows, and you can even use it as a TRX band with adjustable height to cater to your personal workout. And it's perfect for scaling and getting better because there's always something new you can learn and you can always get stronger and keep on progressing. There's like a million things you can do with rings. I'm actually really excited to have them now. I give it a solid 10 out of 10. Can't wait to do more. It's just the beginning. The weighted vest, self-explanatory, just makes exercises harder. You can run with it. You can do push-ups with it. Handstand push-ups if you're strong enough. This is just a standard one I got off of Amazon. And you can probably get a better one. Like Chris Harry is a really cool one that I actually really want, but my pockets just don't run that deep. But this little puppy does the trick and puts the weight on you. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna do a little jog. I've never felt more unathletic. The vest I had goes up to 40 pounds, but you can just do a ton of exercises with it, push-ups, pull-ups. However, at a certain point, you're gonna wanna switch to a dip belt for some exercises like dips and pull-ups because it's way more comfortable to place the weight there and it'll be a lot more effective. And you'll be able to load more weight once you get to that level. But weighted vest is definitely great, especially if you're at home and you don't have much weights to add because it can just help you progressively overload. Yeah, the weighted vest is cool. For score, I'll give it, uh, that made me really tired out of 10. And lastly, some accessory things that you might want is resistance bands and wrist wraps. Resistance bands are like crucial for learning like the pull-up and the one-arm pull-up. You can also use it to train towards the planche and other exercises like the back lever, front lever. I've only used it for the pull-ups, but it's been like a game changer, especially for the one-arm pull-up. I wasn't able to make any progress until I started using the assistance band. And now I'm finally able to like hold it for a bit. And for these bands, you just start with a thick one and then slowly lower down into less resistance until you're able to do the movement. Pretty simple, but very effective. I'd, gi I'd give it a 10 out of 10, but it's given me too many bad experiences in the past. So I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Very good though. Wrist wraps I've never used before. Some people use these for like handstands and other movements that put a lot of pressure on your wrist. My first impressions were, I've never felt this cool before. I jumped into a handstand though and I could feel the support right away and it felt pretty good. And I don't like getting like dependent on any equipment, but I definitely think this could be used as a tool to help you train more and just give your wrist some support because calisthenics can be pretty tough on it. And just like the resistance bands, you can lower the ones that aren't as thick until your wrist is feeling good and strong and then you can just do the exercises. I thought buying these was a little impulsive, but I'm liking the results. It's gonna take my home workouts to the next level. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite piece of calisthenics equipment is in the comments below or if I should buy something else. Have a good day.